There's a new DDoS amplification attack that's using universal plug and play that you'll need to watch out for. So Manny, I guess you're going to tell us about uh, DDoS attacks using UPnP? Yeah, so this is a, a new DDoS attack. Uh, the, the company that's well known in Perva had some researchers that went out and did some research on a, a amplification attack that they were actually in the midst of mitigating. The findings that they found were very interesting because there were some things that came out of this that were kind of unusual. And one of the unusual things was that they, um, as part of their analysis, when they were looking at some of the packets coming through, they noticed that up to about 12% of the packets that were coming through on this particular attack had unusual source port data. So it kind of was like, w w this is kind of weird. Why is this coming through with these weird source ports? So, so they started to analyze it a little bit more. Um, and what they ended up finding out was at the crux of this, it actually involves uh, UPnP, which is the universal plug and play, which is on port uh, 1900 UDP. This particular vulnerability allows the rewriting of a configuration file that you, the UPnP protocol uses to, in essence, rewrite the way that the protocol handles or is commanded to do port uh, forwarding. If you understand uh, UPnP, normally P UPnP, when you do a port forwarding, what you're doing is you're, you're creating a rule that basically port forwards an external IP and port to an internal mm -hmm. IP and port. Well, what they find out is that, in fact, you can actually write a rule that changes an external to an external, mm -hmm. not, not the internal in, and vice versa. So they have an external. So what they end up writing is they write a rule that basically takes in and says, hey, anything that you send to me via UDP port 53, port forward that off to a, a DNS server of my choosing, right, on, on port 53, mm -hmm. port forward that over to that IP address. So what they end up doing is they have a host on the outside that basically sends in a DNS packet, right, a DNS packet. They send it out on port 1337. So it's basically taking a, a packet, it's bringing it in to, to the front end of this, of this device. So they send the packet in on 1337, and the port forwarding rule is basically taking anything that comes in, right, and it's forwarding it over because of the rule, it basically forwards it out to this DNS server from which it reflects and goes exactly. out to so you. So you get the reflection yeah. from, from at that point. So basically you've got this packet that comes in, it's a DNS packet, but it's on port 1337, which you're not gonna, you don't expect. Mm -hmm. The rule basically forwards it out to the DNS server. The DNS server responds back. To respond. the victim. To the victim, yeah. right? So it responds back to the victim. The victim now gets it, right? The, you, the port forwarding rule gets it. It takes the response and now sends it back to the original requester, but changes the port on it. So it changes the port back to uh, 1337. So you had it come in at 1337, but it, but it changes it to, because it's an actual DNS request, it goes out 53, the response comes back in 53, but when it goes to forward it back to the original requester, right, it changes it back to 1337 and sends it back to you. It has the side effect of basically shielding uh, the true source of the attack. So attacker is now going through a reflector, which is going through the actual like perpetrator of the amplification attack, and the victim will never know who is the true, uh, I guess, adversary behind it. So is that being used right now? Is that what they said? Or this well, was like their proof is, of concept? This is their proof of concept. So, I mean, if you go to Imperver's page, they have some really nice diagrams that show you, you know, diagrams that I know Stan would approve of that shows, you know, very concise, you know, how the packets are actually sent, which is kind of really cool. But again, just a proof of concept right now. now problem is, is all we all know is that this will quickly become, because it's so easy, right? I mean, yeah. and the, the, there's but a I lot thought, of targets out I there. I you said at the start that they had observed this in the wild somewhere. They did. Okay. They did. So, so clearly somebody's somebody already, using, already using yeah. it. Right. Yeah. In general, you shouldn't be exposing UPnP or any of those sorts of services to the outside of your network. Keep an eye on what you're exposing, and if you can turn it off, turn it off. If you can lock it out with a firewall, do that. 